Hi, I'm Robert Hill, Associate Professor and Chair of the Department of Anatomy at the New York College of Osteopathic Medicine at New York Institute of Technology. Um, my research is in the area of comparative anatomy and paleontology, um, and this lets me address some very interesting questions about biodiversity and the fossil record and the history of life on Earth. My specific area of interest is in fossil crocodiles, and recently I was involved in a study to completely describe the anatomy of one of the most bizarre reptiles that ever lived, and that's the pugnosed crocodile, Simosuchus clarki. Simosuchus lived right around the end of the age of dinosaurs in Madagascar, um, and what makes it so bizarre is that it's got a pugnosed snout full of weak leaf-shaped teeth that indicate that it probably munched on a diet of plants. Uh, so unlike modern-day crocodiles who can snatch a gazelle from the river's edge with a mouthful of sharp teeth, uh, Simosuchus wasn't like that at all. It was a gentle vegetarian crocodile. What's really interesting about this is that it helps to dispel the notion of crocodiles as living fossils. When people see crocodiles nowadays, they tend to want to say, oh, that's, that looks very prehistoric. Um, and, and the idea that crocodiles haven't changed in millions and millions of years um, is, is one that's common to us. But in fact, if you peek into the crocodile family tree, uh, just like any family, you find some members who are very conservative and some that do really outlandish things. And Simosuchus is definitely one of the latter.